Hey, uh, I wanted to add to uh, what the whole situation is. So, you can see that I started doing some of the welding for that hole. It's almost done. Now, what my technique and what most people agree with in terms of a technique is I have, I've talked about this in my other videos, when you're welding where you put your ground makes a difference as to where the weld or the electricity is going to generate the heat. So here, the actual weld is going through the copper, but it won't stick to the copper. So when you start welding, you weld on the copper because here is not grounded. It will not weld on this. So you create your puddle on the copper and then it melts into the metal. Then it becomes grounded to the car. You get what I'm saying? So once that happens and that starts, you could then start welding to your weld and then it'll melt into this thinner metal and then make it strong. Um, so that's the basic principle behind the madness going on. This is the whole apparatus. I have my my needle nose clamps um, welded to the part to keep it pressed against the back of here. This, the tool, I should say, the copper plate. That is back up against there. And my copper is grounded to the, the, the welder. So everything is as it needs to be for life to go on and be good. All right, until next time.